little bit different intro than I normally do, but uh, welcome back for another video. If you don't know why these brake calipers are on the workbench and not on the car, go check out my last video right there. Uh, we're doing a little series on upgrading the brakes on my car. Um, if you don't know what car I have, this is a 240SX, an S14. It has a RB25 engine in it. Um, I did the motor build myself. Um, this thing makes 535 horsepower. I am gonna do a build breakdown very soon, so uh, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see. Um, I might do cost also because I haven't edited it up yet and I haven't cried in a little while, so maybe we'll add it up and see. So, moving back to the brakes here. Um, what we're doing, uh, the first video, uh, we, use, we use the GK Tech caliper bracket. Um, it spaces out your, your caliper so you can run a bigger rotor. This, uh, this is the before. And then this is also the after of it. The after is just mocked up there uh, just to show you the difference that you, that you get. But these are the calipers here. Uh, we're going to paint them today. Um, got gloves because we're going to be using brake cleaner. And uh, this system we're using, instead of spray paint, system we're using is called uh, G2. So this G2 system I have used in the past on uh, two other cars and it seems to work pretty well. Uh, it's, it's pretty durable and uh, it looks pretty good. I, I think it's, you, it's a lot easier when you're doing this on the car with the brush because you don't have to mask everything off um, as if you were doing it with spray paint. Um, obviously it's not going to be as durable as powder coat. Powder coat is basically the best option you could get. Um, this, in my opinion, is second best. So, um, as we see here, suitable for race cars. Yeah. Let's open this thing up. We'll see what's in it. Uh, there should be some brake clean. Um, I have some more brake clean over there. Uh, what else does it say? Paint system reactor. Whatever the hell that is. Paint system paint. Got a, a mixing can. Application brush instructions. All the stuff you would assume that would be in here is in here. So we're gonna open this up. Um, then we're probably gonna have to clean these up. And then we could start painting. Uh, probably, probably gonna try to find a better spot to put these rear ones so they sit back. So they sit back more like this. So uh, since this is gonna be the the show side, we don't really care if the back side is not perfect because no one's ever gonna see that. So we will just find something to put like that. The front ones have no problem sitting up by themselves. Once again, rear side, no one's ever gonna see. Also, one thing I would like to attempt to do, these used to, where's the other one? The other one, you can see that. These used to be red, obviously. Um, you can see it like wearing off in some spots. Um, I painted these black and then I clear coated them. Um, and, but I painted them black, then I took some sand, I masked this off on both sides and I took some sandpaper, sanded it off so the Nissan logo would, would like pop more. Then I clear coated it after that. What I want to try to do, oh, I didn't say what color we're doing. We're doing gold, by the way. Doing gold calipers. Um, should match my engine bay a little bit. Uh, my wheels have uh, the NK logo in gold also. Um, so it should match a little bit, but the only problem that I want to do, the only problem that I see that I got to figure out a way to do it is paint this all gold and then like I could sand this Nissan down again, but then it's going to be gold with the silver and you're probably not going to see it very well. I want Nissan to be in black, so I got to figure something out with that. But let's get these things cleaned up, and then we can start painting, and then figure that out, I guess, afterwards. So in this kit, uh, this is your paint. Gold, doo doo, brown, whatever. This is the reactor. You have to pour this entire thing into there, mix, let it sit for five minutes, mix a little bit again, and then start painting. But uh, you have about four to six hours to do all your painting, and you have to give a couple coats because uh, obviously the first coat isn't going to be thick enough. So hopefully we can get three coats out of it. We'll see how the second one looks, um, and then we're uh, we're gonna gonna clean these up. Right 
So obviously you don't want to get this on your car's paint because this was black and now it's turning red. So uh, your car's paint will come off too. Uh, but I decided to do to stabilize these so they don't fall. I just put like a four by four on the back of them. So I'm gonna start mixing this and then um, I'm gonna let it sit. Then mix a little bit more and start painting. Pretty straightforward. Goldish. Right, we're gonna let that sit a minute and then we're gonna come and do a little mixy mix and uh, start painting. Now the only problem here is everything's a little cold. Ooh. It says the the instruction says to do it between like 55 and like 70. We're at 51. Um, obviously ambient temperature but it's winter time. Um, Brakes aren't that cold, they're 51 degrees, so I'm just gonna do it anyway and wish for the best. Mix a little bit more and then maybe start painting. So the first coat is done. Um, I started the second coat on one of them. Uh, the first coat looked like complete trash. So um, second coat starting to fill out a little bit more. But I'll show you the first coat as opposed to second coat. The second coat is right when it's finished. Um, it starts to level out. You see less brush strokes after this, but this is a first coat. And then this is a second coat. You see it. Um, Covers a lot better. Um, still like that one spot like there that I gotta hit again. But um, first coat, second coat. I'm gonna give all the. I'm gonna give the rest of these a uh, second coat, and then we'll see. I should have enough paint left for a third coat if I if needed. But uh, we'll see how this one levels out because right now there's still a lot of brush strokes. But the other ones you don't really see the brush strokes anymore. So uh, let me let me bang these out quick, and then we'll. Uh, Get back together here. Send the second coat done with all of them. Uh, I'm gonna try to let it sit for a little while before I try to give it a third coat. There's plenty of paint left. Could probably give it a couple more coats if I really wanted to, but I don't. So uh, we're gonna let this sit for a little while, come back, and then uh, give another coat. You, you should remember because I little I because I just showed it to you. Um, it's been a lot longer for me than it has for you, but. This uh, brush strokes kind of like sat down, and it's kind of smoothed out. This was the first one. Obviously there's still that spot right there. Um, looking better. Right, it's been sitting about an hour. Um, I'm gonna give it one, I guess one more coat. I, I don't know if I should give it more than that and then we're just gonna let it sit and cure. So let me give this the coat quick and then uh, whatever. Gonna let them sit for a little while. I might give it a couple more coats. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. I do have plenty of paint left over. But uh, I'm gonna do that uh, off camera. Uh, we're gonna pick this video back up in probably a couple days when I could complete this, uh, this whole painting process because I do want to attempt to somehow do with the Nissan logo because I can sand it off. It'll be very simple, but I do want to attempt to paint it black. But uh, that, I'm not too sure how that's gonna work out. But we're gonna, Gonna pick back up in a couple days when this paint is completely dry. Um, not the right temperature to be painting, so I'm just gonna give it extra time to dry. Uh, I'll see you in a little bit. And we're back. This is uh, day part two. It's the same video, but second second chapter, whatever, um, of the uh, caliper painting video. Uh, this is where we're left off. We got coverage um, front and the rear. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna tape off this. I think I just, I think I decided what I'm gonna try to do first is sand, sand it down and make the Nissan, uh, I guess, silver. Um, that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna try because I could always attempt to paint it black if I don't like the way it looks. So I'm gonna do that. That's actually the easiest thing for me to do. So let's try that one first. Then we'll uh, decide because I have a feeling it might look cool. We'll see.
All right, so very simple as you just saw, it took a couple seconds. Mask it off around it. Um, then we're gonna take sandpaper and just sand it because it's raised. Uh, it just goes slow, it's very easy. You don't have to be that careful because we taped it off. So uh, let's sand it. So uh, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like the look of that. I thought uh, I thought the silver wasn't gonna pop as much um, on the gold, but it pops just enough, I think. So I think we're gonna rock it like that for a while, and then if I get sick of it, then we'll try to do the black. The option for this, um, even though these are raised, um, you could always sand down the Nissan completely nice and smooth. Um, basically just take that completely down, uh, nice and smooth. You'll obviously need something powered to do it a little easier. And then you could always run like a decal on it. From what I've heard from a couple friends that the, the paint will actually like yellow or discolor before the vinyl actually discolors. So um, that's always another option, but we're gonna leave it, uh, I guess, machined finish. So uh, let's throw this on quick and let's see how it looks. Try to get a little further out. Looks pretty good. Like I said, I'm leaving it like that for now, and if I get sick of it, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna change it to black, but for now, once again, third time, fourth time, whatever time, um, I should put a little counter there about how many times I'm gonna say it, but I'm gonna leave it like that. We'll eventually paint it black, and we might, if I get sick of it, we'll paint it black. Like I, like I said earlier, um, I think I did, but I've been recording this video from a few days ago. Um, car in the background, better view than just me. Uh, powder coating would obviously be the best finish for this, the best smoothest, the best looking finish, uh, but you do have to bake those. For, for those of you that don't know what powder coating actually is, it's like a, it's like a powder, I guess, like a plastic in powder form, and then they bake it on. So. Brakes have some rubber components in it, so you have to do a full brake rebuild. So um, it's actually easiest if you do a product like I did with that paint. Um, since these calipers are also off the car, you could always spray paint it. If I'm sure they make a uh, high temp spray paint in more than just black or like silver. That's always another option. Uh, you get a nice smooth finish like that and then do a gloss over it. But like I said for now, we're leaving it like this. It's gonna, it's gonna look pretty awesome. So thanks for joining me on this video uh, about brake upgrade for this car. This was the painting section of this. Uh, I should have a playlist here. Check it out up here. I'll link it at the end of the video maybe. Uh, do a front upgrade, rear upgrade. Um, gotta figure out how to make the e-brake work with the Z32 upgrade, but uh, looking good. Well, thanks for joining me. Um, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. And uh, hit that little bell icon, I think, because that let you know when I'm posting a video since I, sometimes I do it randomly. Uh, comment if you have any questions, uh, like the video, subscribe again, and uh, tell your friends. See you later.